All right, doing some voiceover on a MP round. Here we're going with the Grace, which I remain convinced is the best disc for this hole. Just a great shape and a distance. And going to slam into the pedestal. And didn't get kicked too far away that time. I have been kicked like 80 feet back after slamming into that pedestal. And here we're going to go with the Sapphire. Another great place for the Sapphire. Checked up a little early there. But we're going to go with Glide Skip. Should be a pretty simple, easy birdie with that disc. And again, if you don't have the Rive, you can't get the Ballista Pro Glide Skip in the shop. You can purchase one. So, And here's the Glide Skip again. This time my goal is to get right of that tree in the middle of the fairway there. That right side gap, I did a video on this. It's much clearer. Got hung up with the root there. Otherwise, that would have been a really nice eagle look. And I went with the warship here for some reason. That was just a mental lapse. I should have thrown the fuse at it. Although it does play up a little bit. I'm not sure how much, but I'm pretty sure there is an elevation change there. The disc always seemed to come up short. And here we're going to go with the musket on one of my favorite ace runs. And just do catch enough chains to drop it in the basket for the ace. And then we're going to go light glide here. This is a perfect win for the ace run here. Although I've only gotten it a couple times. That one win out of the right is really, really good for this. And I didn't get anywhere close this time, unfortunately. But I have on multiple occasions caught metal there only twice as it dropped in I think so and we're going to go light glide again light glide rive jump over the wall here and I thought this was going to give me a really good eagle look but it's just a tad too far to the left as you can tell I can barely see the basket I might have still been able to drop it in but that was really tight I needed to be just a smidge more to the right to get the eagle look and that is one of my favorite eagles to get so I had to take the birdie there and here we're gonna go glide skip forehand I'm just hoping it checks up here it starts to slide and rolls back to a nice position. Had it gone straight, I would have been blocked from my favorite full send musket shot here. Boom. One of my uh, favorite shots in the game, if you've been watching my videos. Here we're going to go glide skip recoil, which is another one where I'm convinced this is the best disc for this hole. Problem is, not a lot of people bag it. A lot of guys like the uh, windbreak uh, glide version. But I don't know. I'm getting used to the skip. And here I said, you know what? I'm just going to run this. I've been running it a lot more lately. I'm like, what the heck? Uh, it's risky, but 200 foot, I said, what the heck? And I just did scooch over the basket for a very nice bonus eagle there. And then a great wind here, very favorable for the Eagle run. We're going with the Turn Glide Rive. Just a smidge of Anheuser. That is a unit of measure, by the way, a smidge. That's how much it is, by the way. Yeah, I got a notification there from Ben Grave. Uh, very nice drive, and I, I was worried right there I was going to go in the water. I was like, don't go in the water. That's a very nice drive. 
And then I almost went light glide, and uh, that's going to go way too long. So I switched to the sapphire, nice distance. And pretty much parked the sapphire for the tap in eagle. So very nice round, 1234. Hope you learned something, and we'll see you around the valley.